boom is there, by the way, is so that any plastic bottles and stuff does not pass through and wash into the estuary. So the New York Department of um, Environmental Protection actually vacuums all the stuff before it goes into the estuary. It's like a big orange rubber band. So you're not going to miss it. It's like a, it's like a, you've seen it? I've seen that rope. Yep. Okay. So then here, we're going to have a bridge. Then tell us about that. Alright, yes? Um, can we catch interceptions? I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain. Alright? So, this is the bridge. These are gonna be our two goal lines right here, okay? For uh, two boats. So there's Audacity and Tenacity, and then there's La Bella, and then there's Neary. Okay. okay. Those boats ready, right? Oh, I'm gonna show them. That's the Audacity. Alright, don't worry about that stuff yet. Alright? Listen to the rules. Very important. Now, we're going to play touch boat football, touch or touch boat boat ball, as we're going to call it. Now, what's going to happen is, say Audacity okay, has the buoy, right? Tenacity is working with Audacity. Tenacity will want to come and try and get somewhere near the goal line, and what you have to do is you want to touch your boat to the boom, while for the goal line of the bridges, you have to pass your boat to pass the bridge, just so you can get in between the bridge, because the bridge goes like that, and then there's water. So you have to get here to touch your goal line. And for the other boat that's against here, they have to touch the boom. Is that understandable? Okay. Now, you have to pass your ball, right? You're a team, so you want to pass your ball. To pass, you must throw. You cannot be next to each other. Your boat cannot be touching next. You have to throw, and someone has to catch it from the other boat. Hold on. So, if Audacity is rowing and Tenacity is here, and they throw, but the buoy falls in the water, Lavinia and Nerid can intercept it. Fumble. It's a fumble. That's a fumble. Exactly. exactly. Fumble. So, now if Lavinia now has the ball, Nerid will want to come and try and help to get it to their goal. Now, if you, now just one more, this is the last part of the rule, say Audacity is right here, right? And Lavinia comes in, and someone lays a hand on Audacity's boat from La Bella, yes. you automatically have to give the boat to La Bella. The boat. I mean, the boat. The boat. The boat. The boat. The boat. The boat. boat. The 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 boat. Okay. If I'm on tenacity, right? Yeah. What happened? Right, oh, okay. If I'm on tenacity, and well, what's the A one? Audacity. 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 Right, say, I'm tenacity, and audacity just like it's like it's rowing, mm -hmm. it's rowing close to boom, right? Mm -hmm. I could throw it to. A dust, a dust, yeah, right? that's and a key. Yeah. And then they hit the boom. And, and that's the point. Where does it catch and it and throw it fall out of the boat? No one's going to fall out of the boat because these are Whitehall rowboats, and I don't know if you guys got this on your dry run, but Whitehall rowboats, you literally have to stand on the gunwale for you to fall. These are the boats made in like Pirates of the Caribbean with all those mermaids attacking everybody and the boat didn't even flip <laughs> over. That's because these boats are made for wide cargo loads, so it's not going to tip over at all. Yeah, but what if somebody falls out? No one, no. Well, we have safety rules that we've already established when you guys run on the boat. It's the same way. No one can stand up. No one can move to one side without letting other people know. And no one. Don't even waste your time trying to stand. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work.